all we're doing is growing from what we started in 2021. Brooklyn and Reservoir watching it's Irene here and oh my goodness it is 2022 y'all a whole new year a new opportunity to do some great things for our lives today and for the next 12 months and we are starting today with sharing our goals I'll go first so if you watched um, my video from I think two weeks ago you will already know what I accomplished in 2021. And while I didn't get to everywhere that I wanted, I did start a good foundation. I built a good foundation to grow on from there. So what are we doing in 2022? Well, here are my financial goals for the next 12 months. Number one is to deposit $1,300 into my Roth IRA. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna say that's not enough, you should be maxing it out. Yes, you should absolutely be maxing it out if you can. I cannot afford to do that at the moment, hopefully next year, but this year I cannot do that. So what I'm planning on doing is doubling my weekly contributions that I made last year. Now last year I deposited $600 from my paycheck for the whole year. I think that was about $25 or so for the week. And then I added $150 from my change jar, which is back there, by the way, already has a dollar and eight cents in it. And that totaled $750. Well, I'm going to be doing the same thing this time, doubling up, doing $50 per paycheck for my Roth IRA and filling the change jar and whatever is in there for the end of the year will go into that. So I should have about $1,300 um, hopefully maybe 1400 with others in the change jar and that is that it is what I can do right now because I have other goals as well the second goal is to deposit $650 into my fidelity brokerage account I am using that account as a high-yield savings fund at the moment I have a large portion of that money came from what was in my savings account in my ally account so I decided to transfer that money into um, the brokerage account because at least there it can grow more than half a percent uh, of interest so that's what I'm doing there I want to put more in and now that the student loans got pushed back again until May 1st I won't most likely have to make a payment until June. That gives me three additional months that I was planning to not put as much money down into my savings and everything like that. Put that into these accounts. So I'm going to be putting $25. That should be about $650 for the year. Hopefully I'll do more. Last year I did $900. And I, I don't need to push the brokerage account so much. So I'm going to leave that there. Number three is I need to really increase my nine to five income by $12,000. That is, that is absolute. That is not negotiable. I need a thousand dollars more per month to make my life a little bit easier. I need to be able to put more money into savings. I need to be able to pay my student loans when they come up in June. I need to do all of those things. Well, I can do it now. It's going to seriously impede me if I don't make more income. I am kind of barely getting by now, even though I am able to buy some things and go on vacation. It is a struggle. And sometimes I overspend when I don't really need to or want to. So I really need to make more income to make life a little bit easier for me and make it a little less of a struggle and I honestly I've earned it I worked really hard and um, you know my current job I've been there for six years and if I can get the money there that'd be great if not and before is pay down my student loans by at least four thousand dollars that would be great um, and that would be totally doable if I was going to be starting it in March um, even though I'm starting it in June, my payments are about going to be about $350, $355. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to pay down, but I'm definitely going to be paying down my student loans. 
Um, I'm going to be paying the minimum until my um, emergency fund is built up, but I'm going to be paying it and paying it religiously because I need to start getting rid of that. Now, number five is deposit $3,600 into my emergency fund. I have a long, long, long way to go before I can say my emergency fund is fully funded. It is nowhere near that at all. I am at the point just for my emergency fund. I currently have $1,500. I need to get it to $9,162. So that is, please don't make me do math right now. 9162 minus 1500 $7,662 to get my emergency fund up and up and running. And that's only my emergency fund. That doesn't even include my car fund. So I'm a long way to go. But because, again, my income is low, I don't have enough to really build that up in a year like a lot of people do. It's going to take me a couple of years to do that, which really sucks because in there's an emergency. I'm not going to be prepared for it. So... Anyway, $3,600 is my goal and I'm going to re work really, really hard to do that. And that's it, guys. Those are my five financial goals that I want to accomplish this year. I actually should have added a six that puts my notary signing business up to earn some money, but it seems like that's not going well. And I don't want to put a goal on that and be completely defeated. At this point, I want to be able to just do a mortgage signing, a loan signing. It's been September, October, November, December, four months. And I got one signing that was going to work. I booked it. Then things happened. And then the time didn't no longer work for me. And they were persistent about doing that time. So I, that had to be rescheduled one in the last four months. So I think I'm going to have to open up my availability to some other areas. The days I go to work, maybe I can do a signing in downtown Manhattan. I've gotten plenty of requests in Manhattan, but I've been working from home in Brooklyn. So I might have to start doing some of those. Either way, I don't want to put a goal on those yet because it's just a challenge. And until I see some consistency and signings. I don't care if it's just once a week. I can't, I can't put a monetary goal on that. I really can't. So we shall see. Um, but that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to create some financial goals for yourself for this year. If it does, please, please, please share those goals in the comments. And if you liked it, if you really, really like this video, please, subscribe. I am 48 members away, subscribers away from a thousand. You would think four years I would have made that, but apparently no. And um, like this video and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another one because I'm going to be really consistent this year and putting videos up every week, probably twice a week. So mm, that's all I've got. Catch you guys all on the rebound next time. I am tired, y'all. Peace out. See you on the rebound.